Basketball and football are very competitive sports, and an athlete's career can become non-existent in one single play. For this reason, I believe student athletes should be required to get a degree because they will mature and have more promising alternative career choices after sports. Nonetheless, in order for this to happen, the actions need to be taken out by the rule makers, the NCAA and the commissioners of the NBA and NFL. Year after year, there are more athletes that go broke because they either get severely injured or they're immature with the way they use their money. The social norm for college athletes is to leave college early just because they are provided with a lot of money. However, most of, the, most of these athletes overestimate their skills and have a fallacy of defense that they specifically will make it as a successful professional athlete. For instance, Greg Oden, the former first overall draft pick for the 2007 NBA draft, was expected to do great things in the NBA. So he made the decision of leaving college early without a degree and not going back to Ohio State. Unfortunately, things never really worked out for him in the NBA. His first few years in the league, he suffered some severe injuries. And then as things started to look good for him, he was charged with the domestic violence. With all this occurring, Odin's future isn't very promising. His basketball career is going down the drain, and he left his free education all the way back in Ohio. Generally, young athletes only think about the present and not the future. As Jake New stated in the article, in his article, 76% of college basketball players and 52% of college football players have the perception that they will make it as a professional athlete. However, in reality, only 1.2% of basketball players and 1.6% of football players actually make it as a professional athlete. The fact that this many of the college athletes have this perception, something must be done so athletes can have the incentive to value a good education and not waste all their time with sports. On the contrary, there is an incomplete comparison that attending college and receiving a degree guarantees success. It has been proven by not only athletes, but all types of people that it's possible to be successful without a degree. For an example, Steve Jobs dropped out of college because he felt it was a waste of time and it wouldn't help him achieve his goal. Once Jobs was notified for founding Apple, no one questioned if he received a degree. For some reason, when athletes want to leave college early to follow their dreams, they're restricted and thought to be foolish and immature. However, college athletes are forced to risk an injury for their chances of becoming a professional athlete just because the NCAA, NBA, and NFL set an age requirement rule that they are forced to abide. Truthfully, all athletes are trying to do is to get that shot at achieving their dream of becoming a professional athlete, just like Jobs dream to become the innovator of technology of our generation, which is exactly what he did. Although receiving a degree does not guarantee success, it sure does make it a lot easier. There are some great college dropout success stories, but people like Jobs are one in a million. Those who decide to leave college early to reduce the risk of in injury are at a huge disadvantage later in life. Athletes will tremendously will benefit tremendously more by receiving a degree because they will get their chance of achieving their dream and it doesn't work and if it doesn't work out they have a backup plan according to data from the National Center for Education Statistics college graduates earn an average of $20,000 more than those who just graduated high school athletes need to come to the understanding that receiving a good education will only benefit them most collegiate football and basketball athletes are provided with full-ride scholarships and they're willing to throw all that away just for the chance of being a successful being successful as a professional athlete. So making a raise in age requirement will benefit the athletes because it will encourage them to become more well-rounded and educated individuals that have the chance for a brighter future. The NCAA needs to understand they will only benefit by raising the age requirement for athletes becoming professionally. The longer the top athletes are playing college, the more money the NCA makes. Additionally, the NBA and NFL will benefit from the age requirement. 
professional athletes are constantly portrayed as being stupid with their money, and the NBA and NFL commissioners are to blame for not educating the athletes. The NBA and NFL have a bad reputation because the majority of professional athletes have financial issues after sports. Pablo Torre explains in his journal that 78% of NFL players after two years of retirement and 60% of NBA players after five years of retirement go bankrupt because of joblessness or divorce. If it were required to receive a degree, these percentages would be drastically different. The NBA and NFL reputation will be much better because student athletes have that have a degree learn how to manage their money maturely and are much less likely to go bankrupt. More importantly, the athletes will benefit because they will be able to keep their scholarships and f fulfill their prospect for a brighter future after retiring from sports. I'm specifically calling my audience, the NCAA and commissioners of the NBA and NFL, to take action into their own hands. You are the only people that can change the age requirement rule. There are only positives that come from raising the age requirement. Setting an age requirement will encourage athletes to value their education more and will cause less athletes to go bankrupt. Please understand the importance of life after sports and help give former professional athletes the chance to, su to success in something other than sports.